Hello guys, welcome to my channel Create Knowledge. In this video, I am going to tell you how to download and install Spring Tool Suite in your system. So first I have to open Google Chrome browser. Here I will write download Spring Tool Suites. Uh, this is the official website of Spring Tool. Click here. You see this is Spring Tool 4. Here you get option. The latest version is 4.23.1. This is for Linux. This is for Mac. This is for Windows. I will go for Windows. Another option is there. You can use it through Visual Studio Code. But I will go for Windows. So I will click on Windows 86 underscore 64. Click here. Now you see it is downloading in my download folder. Download is in process. So ready to download. Now see download is complete. Now I am going to close this window. I will go to my download folder. Close it. Go to my download folder. You see this is Spring Tool Suite for 0.23.1 now I am going to make another folder in my D drive because I want to install Spring Tool Suite in my D drive in D drive here I am going to create a folder I am giving the folder name Spring Tool Suite dash 4 now I am going to Copy this exe file Spring Tool Suite 4.23.1. Copy it. Copy and I am going to paste it in my D drive. My Spring Tool Suite dash 4. Here I am going to paste it. Now I see Spring Tool Suite is I put it in my D drive. Here I am going to double click on this exe file. Now see it is downloading. It is installing here. Now it is installing is completed. Now here I have got a STH 4.23 dot dash dot one release. I click this folder here. I, get, I got the icon of Spring Tool Suite. I am going to copy this icon in my de desktop. So right click here. Send to desktop create shortcut. Now I am going to close this window. You see here Spring Tool Suite is there. This shortcut key I have got in my desktop. So now I am going to double click on the shortcut bar Spring Tool Suite. Now see it is installing in my system. Now it is asking the workspace like Eclipse ID it will ask the workspace. Now I am going to change my workspace. Here I am going to create a folder. I am giving the name workspace Spring Tool Suite. Up to this I am going to copy and and I go to my D drive. This is my Spring Tool Suite. Click here. Here I am going to create a folder. This folder is I am going to use this folder for workspace and I am giving the folder name Ctrl V workspace Spring Tool Suite. Okay. Now again I am going to close this my uh, D drive. Here I am going to change browse. Click on browse. Go to D drive. And you see Spring Tool Suite dash 4. I will double click here. Here you get the workspace Spring Tool Suite which now I have created. Click on 
this folder and select folder and here I have created a workspace in my D drive uh, because I don't want to give extra load in my main drive. So I always try to put in my extra other drive other than main drive. So I have put it that that's why I put it in my D drive and click on launch. Here you see this spring tool sheet window has, has opened. Now I am going to create a new spring starter project. Click here. By default project name is demo and type is Gradle but I will choose it for, I will go it for Maven. Maven. Here packing jar, packing packaging is jar, language Java. Here Java version. I am having 20 or 22, 21 or 17 version, but I will use 17 version. And a group I have given the com.example native there. And this is description demo project for Spring Boot. Click on next. Here you get the dependencies. Whatever the dependency you want, you will get it. For example, I, if I go for MySQL, here you get the MySQL, MySQL driver. Here you get the all the dependencies, whatever the project you make, you take the dependencies from here. In my next video, I will make a login project in a Spring Tool Suite. So now I am not taking any dependencies. Now I am going to click on finish. Here you see demo file while is creating. But you keep in mind, you have to connect the internet with your machine. Without internet connection, you cannot install this, install and download and work in Spring Tool Suite. You have to connect internet with your machine. Here, a demo project is there. Here you get SRC main Java, SRC main resource, SRC main test. Here package name is com.example. SRC main resource application dot properties. Now I'll tell I'll tell you in my next video. Here demo application dot Java. This is default class file. Now I'm going to increase the font because it is this font is very small. So I am going to increase the font. So go to window and preference. Here you write font. And this is color and font. Here is basic. Scroll down. Text font. Edit. Default font size is 10. Now I'll go for 16. Click on 16. Then click on OK. Then apply and apply and close. So now you see your font has been increased. Pass a message here. System.out.print. Here I'm going to write welcome to my channel thanks for watching video here I will put a semicolon now I am going to save my project and going to run it click here from here you can run also run as spring boot app and here from here you can run also click here click on run run as Spring Boot application and here you see I've got no error. I got the message. You see I've got the message. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching video. Now you have understand how to install Spring Tool Suite in your system. In my next video I will make a I'll make a login project by using Spring Tool Suite. And also I'll use JDBC also. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share my video with your friends. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Thanks a lot. Thanks.